Hello and welcome back to Shelf Center. This is Bryce. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for liking and subscribing. If this is something you end up enjoying, you never know what could happen. Well, I've got my top shelf news for the week here. That's my uh, the top news in science fiction, fantasy, sometimes horror, mostly as it relates to books, especially today, but also as it relates to media. So let's jump right into it. Anyway, first things first, let's get into the big news, which is Scott Lynch has got some some news. If you're waiting on the Thorn of Ember Lane, you might be a little disappointed but at least we're getting there and it seems like the news is pointing in the right direction for the actual full-length novel but first he's and if you've been following along at all he has announced this a little bit ago uh, about three novellas and it's called the road to ember lane and the first one's going to be called more than fools fill graves then the second one the mad baron's mechanical attic and then the third one the choir of knives i love uh, Lynch's ability to name things is just amazing so I love this so there's the first thing then we've got a short story the first short story by Lynch in the Loch Lamora universe it's called Loch Lamora and the Bottled Serpent this is going to be actually over two issues of Grimdark Magazine, the first in October of this year, and then the second in January of next year. So it's super exciting news. And then in one of the comments, uh, Lynch actually, this is actually pointed out by Murphy Napier, thank you very much, because she's a huge fan. Someone was asking for, okay, does this mean that the next step is uh, the next, the, the full length novel, The Thorn of Emberlane? Uh, it looks like it's, it's probably gonna happen. I mean, it's all hints are pointing that direction at least as you could see right here. So big, huge news, I love it. Um, we're gonna get the gang back together, I hope, uh, and, and discuss um, with Murphy Napier, Ben of Overly Average, Ben, and then Grace Dion as well. Uh, and so anyway, which actually I just filmed a discussion video on Guy Gabriel Kay's, uh, well, the latest that I've read, Lions of Al Rasan, which is just brilliant, I loved it. All right, some cool uh, cover news here. Django Wexler's got a new one, a uh, new cover for his series, The Dark Lord Davi, I think I might be pronouncing that wrong, too. It's everybody wants to rule the world except me. <laughs> this looks like a really fun series. I've only heard great things about Django Wexler and I definitely wanna read this one. Uh, essentially, uh, uh, a <laughs> essentially like a portal fantasy as far as I can figure out here uh, it looks really good though and it looks just really tongue-in-cheek really fun and I definitely want to read it definitely right up my alley then we've got a, a great cover looking uh, I just love these uh, all of them frankly in the whole series but this one's all another good one Dark Drinker by Samil Akhtar. This is number four in the Gunmetal Gods series. I definitely need to read this series. I've only heard great things. And look at those tentacly monster goodness. It just looks awesome. Again, right up my alley. I think too many things are up my alley is my problem. And uh, I need to have less things up my alley because that's my biggest problem and why I want to read all the books, okay? Then we've got really good news for The Broken Binding and Philip Chase. Essentially, Broken Binding is like killing it left and right. Maybe I'm just now figuring this out. I don't know. Uh, but they are going to be publishing Philip Chase, booktuber Philip Chase. If you know me, you know him, I'm sure. Uh, and his The Way of Edan with Patrick Leo, of course, as the art director. I mean, it's just it's just a great combination. I mean, Patrick Leo, Broken Binding, and he just picks the right scenes for these books. He's been doing a great job. I can't wait to see my mouths on books that are coming uh, here, uh, hopefully later this year. Uh, just, they're brilliant. And so, uh, at least uh, so far, and I've, again, only seen great things from the Broken Binding and those who get Broken Binding things, okay. Oh, I did wanted to make sure and mention the Hugo Award winners were announced. Uh, great list there. Uh, isn't this the same one that has the, had the issues with uh, preventing certain people from uh, being able to even be qualified? I think it was the Hugos, right? I'll have to look it up. Editing Bryce will have to confirm here now that I'm like totally forgot about that, but I remember that was like, what, in February or something? That was ridiculous. So anyway, I guess maybe it's like the winners that were allowed to be winners. Maybe I, I, I hope I'm not speaking out of turn on that. But anyway, it's all my opinion anyway. You know that. Finally, in some media news, let's jump into that. Media news, uh, HBO just put out like a big old like teaser for like, I don't know, 20 different shows of theirs. They're coming out here. Uh, Night of the Seven Kingdoms gets a little bit. I'm like, oh, that's exciting. The Last of Us. I mean, right? Even one that I, I thought was interesting, I had to look this up, like what the heck is that? Uh, Creature Commandos, essentially 
uh, animated, but adult animated, uh, as as we know, as that's the popular thing these days with like with all that's about Invincible, all these things. Uh, but James Gunn led DC, like this is one of those. So I'm uh, anyway, James Gunn involved. Uh, he's He's been pretty spot on. So I, anyway, int interesting news there. Then we've got Seven Eves. Is, am I pronouncing that right? I have not read enough. Neil Stevenson. This is a Neil Stevenson book that has been optioned for, looks like TV. It says small screen in the news announcement. Um, so that's cool uh, for those that are, who are fans. I, I still, I need to give him another chance. I did not love Snow Crash. Part of it probably had my expectations in the wrong place. So I can, I could take a little bit of the blame. Uh, some of the things were just, it felt like, is this a joke I'm missing? Probably, let's be honest again, on me. Uh, but like some of the things were just like too on the nose and it just was like, I don't know, not as funny as, as again, I'm sure other people take it. But I like to think I have a good sense of humor. My mom tells me I do. So anyway, that's the news for this week. Make sure to check out the Kindle book deals in the description down below. Uh, they support the channel uh, and also it's just, it's book deals. It's not like they support the channel a bunch, but they are lots of fun. I love, I just, I'm addicted to looking them up and that's why I have like 600 books on my Kindle. Ah, somehow those things are related. So anyway, thanks so much for stopping by and we'll catch you next time. Bye.